become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding hi everybody golden era bookworm here today i'm going to talk about how vince deronda helped shape arnold schwarzenegger to win the mr olympia when we think of Arnold Schwarzenegger, imagery such as the Terminator, the Governator, the champion bodybuilder and legendary bodybuilder, winner of seven Mr. Olympias, comes to mind. When we imagine Arnold training for those Olympias, the imagery of Gold's Gym and footage of the film Pumping Iron runs in our minds. His grueling workouts, posing out with Franco and Lou Ferrigno for the title, and Joe Weider handing him the title. Although bodybuilding mogul Joe Weider brought Arnold to the sunny shores of California, it was the legendary Vince Gironda that helped mold the young Austrian's physique. That's right, Vince Gironda, the iron guru, was the first trainer of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the US, and not even Arnold would escape Vince's infamous attitude. Entering the North Hollywood gym on the advice of Joe Weider, the six-foot Austrian oak soon to be bodybuilding's greatest athlete of all time, introduced himself to Vince Gironda. As John Ballack, who witnessed the event, recalled, Arnold walked into the gym weighing approximately 255 pounds, the biggest he had ever been, and stated in his heavy Austrian accent, I am Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Universe. Vince removed his cigar out of his mouth and replied, You just look like a fat beep to me. In that one moment, Arnold's lesson at Vince's gym had begun. Vince had cut at Arnold's monster complex and made him understand that size was not all. As John Ballack recalls, from that moment on, Arnold's body would never be that smooth again. Vince's brutal physique assessment helped Arnold clarify his vision of how to obtain a champion physique, and it forever changed the way he would prepare for competition. Instead of feeling disheartened, insulted, or even threatened, Arnold extended his hand to Vince, and he would continue to train at Vince's gym under the tutelage of Vince Gironda for the next few months. Two weeks later, after losing the IFBB 1968 Mr. Universe to Frank Zane, Arnold realized Vince was right. Arnold soon got to work at Vince's gym, and Vince led Arnold to change a few things with his training, and in particular with his weak points. Vince introduced Arnold to the preacher curl on the preacher bench for biceps. Vince also tweaked Arnold's leg and shoulder routine to include a variety of side raises and hack squats and other leg movements. Dick Tyler recalls Vince Geronda's training strategy for improving Arnold's physique in a rare article. Arnold had just arrived in America and had no place to stay, so he stayed with Don Peters, who lived close to Vince's gym. Quote, Time rushed by, and before we knew it, it was time to meet Don Peters at his home. Don had been kind enough to offer his fabulous house to Arnold for a few days until he could find an apartment. This house is the one with the fantastic home gym, swimming pool, professional pool table, color TV, palm trees, and genuine California sunshine. After a few days in this perfect place, Arnold moved into an apartment that happens to be a block or so away from Vince's gym, so you can guess where he's training now. Every morning at Vince's, and every evening at Don Peter's. This massive Austrian oak bombs his muscles. I recently asked Vince how Arnold was doing, and I thought he was going to mount a bandstand to tell me. To quote Vince Deronda, He's a vast, untapped reservoir of unused tissue. What do you mean by that? I asked. For one thing, he's never used a preacher bench before, he's never trained his legs or shoulders correctly, and only recently has he started working his waist hard and started taking supplements of any kind. The other day I put him on a new deltoid exercise and you could see the insertion in the humerus literally burst out of the skin while he was doing it only to disappear when the pump was gone. Now Vince looked at me seriously. Dick, I guarantee in six months he'll put two inches on his arms and three inches on his shoulders. That's six months from now. But how will he cram on all that size? Vince walked away with a knowing smile. 
In an article in Flex magazine, Arnold also further elaborates on his experiences with Vince Gironda. Quote, When I first moved to California in 1968, I sometimes trained at Vince's gym in Studio City, owned by Vince Gironda. Vince was a bodybuilding pioneer with many radical theories about bodybuilding training, and he was always experimenting. For example, he'd complete 30 sets of an exercise, and the next day, he'd know which part of a particular muscle had been doing the work by how sore it was. This would let him gauge how effective or ineffective an exercise was. For instance, if you did 30 sets of barbell curls, and the next day your delts hurt more than your biceps, it would be clear that the delts had done an undue amount of the work. Therefore, you might want to perform an isolation exercise, such as preacher curls, instead, to take the delts out of play. Vince's philosophy and the previous example underscore that not everything works for everybody and that bodybuilding is an individual journey for each of us. End quote. Some real wise words there from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Vince's influence had Arnold training aggressively for hours daily, and he was now performing two to three split workouts per day as opposed to lengthy workouts which he did before. Arnold would train in the morning at Vince's gym and later in the day at Don Peters' private home gym. Arnold had met Peters when he came to the West Coast to train at Vince Gironda's gym. Besides learning from the Gironda crew, he also improved his diet by incorporating Rio Blair's supplements and used Vince's diets to attain better definition for competition, and it paid off. To quote Arnold again from his book, Arnold, The Education of a Bodybuilder, I cut down and cut down and cut down. I chiseled and polished, rendering that animal mass I brought from Europe down to the work of art I wanted. I had jewel-like abdominals for the first time. It was the first time I knew there was such a thing as a low-carbohydrate diet. I'd never heard of special diets in Germany. There you ate and worked and grew. End quote. With the advice he had obtained from Vince Gironda and the crew at Vince's gym, he had trimmed off roughly about 20 pounds of fat, giving his physique a more defined and hard look. Arnold eventually captured the 1969 IFBB Mr. Universe and decided to enter the 1969 Mr. Olympia. Although he lost to Sergio Oliva that year, Vince had laid the foundation necessary to capture the seven Mr. Olympias that awaited Arnold. Eventually, it is said that a combination of factors led to Arnold leaving Vince's gym and making the transition to Gold's gym. Firstly, according to Boya Co., Arnold didn't get along well with Vince. Secondly, Arnold enjoyed the sunny California atmosphere and enjoyed the hardcore bodybuilding scene emerging at Gold's gym. But that is another story. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Vince Gironda's training philosophies and diets, I invite you to visit my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com, where you'll find basically every publication from Vince Gironda, all is available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video, this rare insight into the beginnings of Arnold's training and transformation in America, of course. Vince Gironda was definitely involved. He was Arnold's first trainer in America, and I'm sure that many people were unaware of this. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching, and please like and share again if you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe for more content like this. You can support my research into bodybuilding history via PayPal, become a patron, visit my website, Fat Print Books and Courses on Old School Bodybuilding, and please email if you wish to collaborate or pass on your bodybuilding relics. That's it for me. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.